Hello, you level grinding. Beautiful cats and dolls out there in YouTube land. I'm the anti-hero drink, and as always, stay beautiful, you gamers out there in YouTube land. So I saw Info Magazine. He did a video about Nita Sarkeesian. He did a video about ABC News and where they talked about gamers. And it's the same old devolving subject that's older than a lot of us. But he basically said that we should all put our two cents out there, that we should all make our voices heard. And here's my two cents on the subject matter. That this is fucking ridiculous, that this isn't news, that this isn't that this isn't relevant. This is just someone who really needs to be relevant. And that's what a lot of people are making an argument for. And this is just a news outlet ready, craving to go have something to go say, the world is terrible. Gamers on the rise. What they want to go do to your women. And it's horrible. I'm waiting for the next news outlet. To basically go say gamers are the next ISIS or whatever. You know, something crazy like that. Because that's basically what this conversation is devolving into. Look, there is a loud majority, not majority, sorry. There's a large minority of gamers that actually make it their mission statement when they play video games. To hate everybody. To go make sure someone feels miserable. And that's what a lot of these female gamers do go through. And I feel sorry for that. And I understand that. And I'll get to how I understand that in a second. But yeah, I just want to go say a quick note. I think it's fucking horrible, the death threats that they receive. I think it's fucking horrible that conversations go, do you swallow? Will you suck my dick? Here's a dick pic. Make me a sandwich. And all these other fucking little nitpick things that these assholes do to go make someone else's experience horrible when all they want to go do is relax and play a video game. That happens, and that's a minority of fucking gamers that we're not even attacking. We're attacking the majority. We're attacking everybody who wants to do this as a pastime. This is my pastime. This shit right here, I'm doing this with another video, but I'll show you right here. This right here, playing all these, that's my pastime. That's how I relax. I also want to go into the game industry. I want to be a game designer. I mean, like, shit, right here, really. Talking about gamers, this is what I'm fucking reading right now. I, I'm trying to go improve my fucking character modeling. But, like, in any aspect of any media I do, I'm not trying to go fucking make a self-conscious decision to hate women. And I'm not the minority in this for once. And that drives me crazy because it seems like if you ever if you ever bring up any of those points, they're like, well, you're the minority. You're like the first, literally, I'm probably the first gamer they ever met that was sensible. I don't know what games you're playing or who you play games with, but it's like the company you keep. Maybe you should go change the company you keep because obviously you're not playing with the right people. And I know a lot of people like me, level-headed gamers who just want to enjoy this shit. But getting to the point, um, like I said before, I understand what they go through because realistically, this is what I go through as a gamer. Because as you can see, I'm black. I always get, you fucking nigger when they're not clever enough to think of anything. You, myate, my you crumble, Japanese word for nigger, if you didn't know. Let's go see, um, what else do I get? Oh, I get called a spear chucker, jigaboo, you coal miner, you the toon, you porch monkey, all that shit. Or I'll go get clever little jokes like, oh, hey, man, I feel what you go through. I have family members in my family tree. I can see them hanging outside the window right now. I get... I get, we'll come to your house and lynch you. I get, we'll burn a fucking cross in your lawn. And I like to be clever to I don't have a lawn. We'll burn a cross and leave it on your doorstep. We're going to go find you, tie you up, put you in the back of a trunk, dig a ditch out in the middle of nowhere, shoot you, and, and bury you where nobody will find you. We're going to go come and get you, tie a noose around your neck, and and tie you to our car and drag you to the tree we're going to lynch you at. So, you know, that's just a tidbit of what I deal with. You know, I'm a gamer and everything. But I don't make such a fuss out of it. And I'm pretty sure there's a shit ton of black gamers who have dealt with similar racism on the game. Maybe to not to that extent, or even maybe to greater extent. What I'm trying to go say is, there are assholes everywhere. And gaming is no different. The but the problem is, there's no sub, there's no ongoing dialogue. There's no subject about let's go, let's go shame these fucking gamers who fucking get online and who want to go make everybody's gaming experience miserable. That's not the dialogue. The dialogue is about gamers in general, all of us, because we're the nuisance. That's all of our mindsets. We all hate women. So I also almost, I since I'm a gamer, I also must also hate 
all black people. I want to go lynch somebody, you know, because I'm a gamer, and we're going to give me that label. I want to go out and lynch somebody. Because, you know, we're all gamers. You know, we're not going to go have an open dialogue. We're not going to go have any back and forth. We're not going to go have any objective conversation or anything like that. No, we're all bad. And if you disagree with Nita Sarkeesian, if you disagree with any feminist, you're wrong. You don't understand. You're close-minded. You're simple-minded. I'm a simple-minded individual just making a simple-minded video then. That's what it is, and that's why most gamers are annoyed. And until people actually look at it as a whole, or maybe even join in and say, okay, you know, I'm going to be a part of this community to go see why this community feels so opposed to these ideas. Because the conversation of more female representation in video game is not a bad conversation to be had. Quite frankly, the best part of that uh, video that I saw on ABC News was when the developer said he wanted to go make more games so parents or individuals could go have games so they could play with their daughters and their daughters could go, they could bond over it. And that's great. I was like, I loved every single second of it. That was beautiful. That was the best part of that article. And I love that. That's the conversation I want to have. The conversation I want to go have is, hey, how do we deal with this min this minority that has a fucking voice that wants to go abuse it to the point where they want to go make other people uncomfortable from playing video games? We're not having that. We're, everybody wants to be closed-minded and in their own little bubble when it comes to video games because, you know, we're a bunch of man-children and developers are this rogue brand of fucking Mattel that are making these horrible video games that are trying to go depict women as objects. That's the conversation that we're willing to have, but we're not willing to go look at the hardline facts of this medium, and we're not willing to go look at this medium as an art form or anything else. It's just a toy, and the men that play it are men children, and we don't want women. If you like this video, feel free to use this video whenever you want as a rebuttal to somebody saying, that's the face of gamers. Because what I'm doing, what Alpha Omega Sin is doing, when we put our faces out there and say, we are gamers, this is our face, these are our beliefs, we're taking a step above the fucking individuals that want to go use this pastime as something they can go hide behind and go fucking make someone else's life miserable. So feel free to use this video, feel free to comment, feel free to like, and if you like what I had to go say, subscribe. Thank you for listening this far. I'm the Anti-Hero Dream.